Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio Love Reading Bonus. This is going to be a quickie, so it's not going to take that much long. So I'm using my Love Oracle cards for this one here, uh, so it's a general. It's not going to resonate with every single Scorpio. Uh, only take the part that fits, discard the rest, Scorpio, because you know how this goes, Scorpio. But it seems, Scorpio, that you have a person here who is really, it's like the, the runner is now the chaser, okay? The person who used to run from you, Scorpio, they realize that you're not chasing their asses no more. So now when they look behind them and they see you ain't chasing them, Scorpio, now they're becoming the chaser. And you ain't running from them, Scorpio. You just ain't paying them no attention. You just over here living your best life, Scorpio. So let's start up here at the top, Scorpio, with photograph here. It says, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. So this is someone who is obsessing over you, Scorpio, because like I said, um, you used to be the chaser, Scorpio. They used to be the runner. You was chasing this person in a codependent relationship because, you know, there was fear of abandonment issues here. But you stopped chasing their ass, Scorpio, because you realized that what they had to offer really wasn't enough. You got tired of being frustrated in this one-sided relationship here, uh, and it started pulling at your confidence here. And I feel like you ultimately wanted a, a union. You wanted a, a commitment with this person. But they was running from you. You realized, Scorpio, that they didn't have really shit to offer you anyway, Scorpio. So I feel like you moved away from this person. Now all they have to do is to think about you and reminisce on you, Scorpio. So when I clarify this photograph, we get the nine of wands here. I feel like this person is wounded, Scorpio. They're wounded in their pride, their ego, and everything in their life here. This person's been through war, Scorpio. I feel like spiritual war because the only person who probably was feeding into them because, like I said, you chasing them, you... Only person you're going to chase someone who you're really in love with, I feel like. You know, you ain't going to chase somebody who you like. You will, but when you're in love with someone, they make you do things that you wouldn't ordinarily do, Scorpio. Now, we know how love be making a fool out of you. They say, oh, 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 love, oh, love, stop making a fool of me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I tell you that love make a fool out of you sometimes, Scorpio. So they're wounded in this nine of wands energy, Scorpio. So when I clarify the nine of wands, Scorpio, this person gets the nine of swords. They're stressing. <laughs> they're worried here. They got anxiety now because they're missing you. And they know that you're, they're the reason why you're no longer with this person, why they don't have the real thing. The only thing they left to do is think, only thing they have is your memory and some photographs, Scorpio. That's all they got is the memories and the photographs of Scorpio. Because they sure can't touch you and hug you and love you and kiss you. And they, when they look in their rear view mirror, they don't see you behind their asses trying to feed them and shit, Scorpio. No, you're going on with your own life here. So when I clarify the nine of swords, we get the emperor. Now, see, this was a mighty, mighty per person, Scorpio. They thought that they was above everybody else. You know, uh, uh, they, they thought old peasant Scorpio was going to always be chasing. But Scorpio was like, well, God dang, I think my thighs are firm enough. Uh, 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 why am I chasing you? I, remind me again why I'm chasing you? No, 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 not for real. Tell me, why am I chasing you again? So you can best believe there has been a very, very big, deep hit in this emperor's pride and in their ego here Scorpio because they thought you would always chase them this person is wounded in the nine of wands energy Scorpio because of the lifestyle that they chose and the person that they chose and they just forgot that everyone has a free will now they chose to go entertain whatever they did but now Scorpio decided that Scorpio was tired of that shit and Scorpio moved on to something better so this what this person doing now they 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 hooked up with a snake, Scorpio. It says competition, enemy, clever, uh, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. They over here with the other woman being abused, Scorpio, because that's why they wounded in that nine of wands energy. They really went through something with this other woman that they felt like they had to be with. So you know who whoever this other woman is, she's in the snake energy. She or he is in a snake energy, very malicious. Uh, you know, you know, you can't take a snake in your bosom and expect it not to, to bite you, Scorpio. So what I feel like is that 
when you walked away from this person, Scorpio, you started doing you. This person was left <laughs> to fend for themselves energetically because they didn't have you to suck off of anymore, Scorpio. So they had to face the snake. So when we clarify the snake, Scorpio, we get the four cups. See, they're not happy with this other woman that they chose. Now, oh no, they they tricks all the tricks that the other woman used to have. Now they don't even feel safe with this person. I feel like this person has put put your person in competition. Uh, and they realize that, well, damn, it, it wasn't worth all that. Now, I thought we were just going to mess around. I, I, I didn't know you had, I was going to have to fight folks over you. And, and, and I ain't even feel, how, you say it's been three years we'd have been together. Well, damn, what, where I been? I feel like this person has been, uh, this person has allured your person, hypnotized your person. They looked up and realized they had put way too much energy into this relationship that they meant to put in. The only thing they thought they was going to do was just have some fun with them. But this person's a snake. Malicious was probably doing all types of evil things behind their back, including putting them in third-party situations here. So now they're over it. <laughs> they don't want to be bothered with the snake person, but they know it's hard to get rid of them. But see, they they trying to get rid of the snake because they're, they're not happy with them. But the whole time, they over here in their pride and their ego because the only thing they have left for you is to watch your pictures and carry on and stuff. And so this four of cups is clarified by the higher fence, Scorpio. So either this was a commitment that they went in. Not only was they involved with the other woman, but they committed to the snake, Scorpio. They committed with that snake, Scorpio, I'm telling you. But some of y'all, this person was working spells on them because when I clarified the higher fence, you get the hermit card. It's like someone was someone sought out your person or your person sought out some information to to um to to make somebody sick. I keep getting four swords with this four swords energy, Scorpio. Now this is pulling your energy back. This is recuperation. I feel like whoever the snake was didn't want your person. I don't know. I guess it's like they they wanted to hurt them or something. Because I know the hierophant is a spiritual advisor. A spiritual counsel here. So it could be that they put some type of spell on your person here to make them reject other offers or make them miss opportunities in love with other people uh, where they can't find their way out of a situation here. I feel like they put some type of altering where they're stuck and stagnant and just slow. Because like I said, I feel like this person looked up and they had been in a relationship with this person longer than they realized it. They made them stuck. They, they kept them out of it. Well, this person didn't know what was going on around them, Scorpio, because of this alluring uh, type of uh, uh, snake energy. This other woman that they chose, Scorpio. Woman or man, but all they do is think about you. But check this other card out. You have stabbed in the back. Now, if you remember the other uh, reading that I did, I said that someone had got jumped on, I feel like. And it's showing up again in this different deck. Now you got it saying it's stabbed in the back. Now it could be literally or it could be metaphorically. It says heartbreak, see, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Shocking attack. They didn't see this coming. I don't feel like this is you. This, this is showing what's going on in this person's life, Scorpio. Because I'm going to show you you in just a minute here. So whoever they were dealing with, Scorpio, they had already put them in competition. But I feel like this was a shocking I feel like they ended up having to fight over this chick that they didn't even really have feelings for like that. They got into an altercation just to defend the virtue of this malicious snake type of energy. And they realized, and damn, did you been messing around? I feel like they done broke up with this karmic that they were in, Scorpio, because it does say separation. I feel like this is why they're trying to, this is why it's making them think about you because with you, they were safe. They not safe with the snake energy, Scorpio, but they were with safe with you. So with the stabbed in the back, when I clarified the stabbed in the back, Scorpio, you get the seven of swords again. That's the seven of swords. That's the sneaking around, getting away with something, being deceptive here, Scorpio. And when I clarified the seven of swords, Scorpio, I got the freaking ten of swords again. Ten of swords is twice here. Is that the ten of swords? No, it's the nine of swords here. So... <clears throat> A lot of swords over here stabbed. Like I say, it's been a lot of knives and stabbing that I've been seeing, Scorpio. So this person it, it either literally got cut on. I'm telling you, look. <laughs> and then look, and then when you clarify the ten of swords, you get the eight of cups. 
Because I feel like your person walked away from this. They felt stabbed in the back because this. they knew this was a... a they like this person because they work type of love spells on this person dressed themselves up sexually because they shouldn't have been attracted to the snake type of energy, but they were. So it could have been a way that the universe was trying to humble this emperor here because they were always going after things you know, they, they, they felt like they had to have everything, but they forgot all about you, but they had to have this other chick over here. This is why they was running and you was chasing but now that you're no longer chasing their ass, now they ass don't want to run. They done turned around and started chasing you, Scorpio. So like I say, with the stabbed in the back, you got the seven of swords, the ten of swords, and the eight of cups. This was a brutal ending yet again. Brutal ending because they walked away, I'm telling you. Just like the other reason, somebody, just because they, because this malicious, this, this malicious woman didn't want them to leave. Yes, she was. She had other person she was sleep, sleeping with. She was putting all type of spell work on this person, but she still didn't want them to leave even after all the shit that they, they was doing to them because I feel like this is your person's karma, Scorpio. So now your energy, Scorpio, you have girl talk here. It says time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. This is what you done did, Scorpio. You done moved on. Y'all hanging out with your friends. Y'all done got the little monkey shaved all up. Y'all showing your ass. You're showing your nipples. And you're showing all of your muscles. You're flexing. And you, you know how you're doing, Scorpio. Because you ain't tripping, Scorpio. You had enough. And you decided to move on. Now you, you, got your, you got your soul sisters or your soul brothers egging you on. Telling you to F that dude. You can do better. And you out here feeling yourself and you're having fun, Scorpio. So when you left this person, you're going to do no but elevate while they're sinking deeper and deeper into the uh, uh, bitter, toxic person of the abyss, Scorpio. So we clarify the uh, girl talk. You have this ace of pentacles. I feel like this is one of many opportunities that the universe is making available to you, being that you disconnected from this toxic energy. It is so true that you're only as good as the company you keep. There's no way you're going to shine bright and everybody else the scum of the earth. No, you shouldn't be with that because the only way you can hang with them is you got some like-minded energy. And maybe you need to check yourself to feel like, to see why you're feeling this low vibrational energy. But I feel like you just got a lot of opportunities coming your way and a lot of new beginnings, a bunch of abundance in your energy because you decided to disconnect from toxicity and other folks shit that they had you in. So when I clarify this ace of pentacles, you get the four of pentacles here. So this is confidence. This is being stingy. This is holding back and keeping to yourself, Scorpio. You like, I'm good. I can get my own thing. I'm good. I feel like you're not even talking to this person. You're too busy living your life. And so when I clarify this four of pentacles, you get the seven of wands. You're going to stand up for yourself. You stand on your ground. You ain't taking no more shit from nobody. You don't want nobody else to come dump their load of bull crap in your life because you didn't do it. This is why you moving on and you're newly single and you out here hanging with your homegirls and things, Scorpio. Now your person, Scorpio, like they over here in this nostalgia energy looking at your pictures and shit. They probably got to sneak. But like I say, with this eight of cups, they done left. They, they didn't have no choice. They didn't have no choice but to leave the snake, Scorpio, because they was either physically attacked or meta something happened. Now you seen the cause, something happened. Something happened. Where somebody probably was hurt because you got the four swords here again. Somebody was laid up. It's like somebody didn't want somebody to leave, so they attacked them. Could have been whoever this this other woman and whoever the, the she had a, another a third party person she was involved with. Whoever she was involved with, I feel like uh, attacked your emperor here. But your emperor is not uh not mighty anymore. So your person here. Now we have talking. It says, interested, conversing more, awaited message, arrives, text, call, email, hovering. They hovering. I'm talking about, like I say, they're the chaser now, Scorpio. They used to run from you, run from commitment, just come in, get what they want, Jen, run up back out. And you like, God damn, I thought we had fun. And you don't hear from them and ghost you and shit. They move to another planet and shit. You know how they do, Scorpio. But now their asses is chasing you now because they're in a codependent. They just got out of a codependent relationship. Now they are, now they have fear of abandonment issues, Scorpio, but you say it's not enough. 
So I'm telling you, this person is thinking about you, Scorpio, and they want you, they want to hear from you. This person wants to hear from you. I feel like they want to hear from you because when I clarified this talking, you get the eight of pentacles. I feel like if this person is working, they're undivided. This person, they, they body is at work, but their mind is on you. And this is their karma, though. This is why their your, your pullback game, your walk away game, your elevation game is going to hit them more. It's because this is karma because they chose a freaking snake of all people, Scorpio. They went and chose a snake. Now, anybody, when you see a snake, you don't have to pretend and, and try to paint a pretty picture. No, whatever whatever the definitions is, we, we know what the snakes represents. Their meaning is, should, should tell you enough on its own. So if your person went after this person, this snake energy is because they got the same BS energy in them as well. That's why that is going to affect them differently in this judgment. They got to see you blow up. So I feel like this person, they overwork and they trying to work and, and put distance and they probably trying to make up money and stuff. But all they do is think about you. Some of y'all got them blocked so they can't call you. So they're waiting and hoping that you call them. Do you the only one they thinking about here? And so with this eight of pentacles here, you get the seven of cups. This person is like, now this person, Scorpio, this person, for some of y'all, this person is in illusion. I feel like this person is having illusions. It's like this person is not their right selves in their mind. It's like, it's probably from all of this manipulation and all this cleverness that this other woman was doing to them. Because see, it says competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. I feel like whoever your person was always had to look over their shoulder because their, their other woman, their woman, always had another guy that they were entertaining. And I feel like somebody put them hands or them, them blades on somebody, okay, over this chick. And then that's what ended it because they, they weren't going to end the cycle. That's, that's, they didn't have no choice but to end it then. So now they want to chase you now, Scorpio. Now they want to chase you. So with this eight of pentacles, see, they're already their intentions and they, their mind is focused so on you to they're like, they're not, they're not even saying they, they got a lot of confusion going on in their head here. And I feel like, cause when I clarify the seven of cups, I get the high priestess. I feel like because they're under some type of spell work with the snake here. Because when I, you know, the high priestess is Pisces energy. She's a tarot reader. She's a spiritual person. She delves into spiritual things. Because you got the high priestess, you got the hermit card, and you got the hierophant. So it's a whole bunch of spiritual manipulation being done to this person. But this is their judgment because they chose the snake. See? And if you're the emperor, you're supposed to be able to make those hard decisions best for your empire. You don't take no snake in just because they got a big button to smile and think you ain't going to get hemmed up. This snake was working spell work on this emperor from the jump here. That's why they ended up with that person longer than they realized because they was in law. They weren't even themselves. They look up. They had been with that chick for some years. And they like, what all the time been? So this high priest, clarify the high priestess, you got judgment. See, this is their karma. Their karma is that they're dealing with this person and everything that this person is involved with. And it's, it's dark shit. It's evil shit. Vindictive shit. Because they call her malicious. You're going to always have to look over your shoulder with this vindictive type of chick. She don't care. And she's going to always work them love spells on you. So cheating this person is crazy. It's like they done drove your person crazy, Scorpio. But it's their karma because they should have known better than to choose this snake here. I'm telling you. But it's okay, though, Scorpio, because you got someone coming in for you now, Scorpio. Let me hear if show you your person. Let me show you your person just a minute. Let me see. Now, let's talk about your emperor one more time because this is their energy, too, Scorpio. This cassette here, this is why this is judgment for this person, Scorpio, because they didn't want to change anything. They kept living in the outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in their head. See, they were stuck with this karmic who was doing love spells on them. And they was, it's like, they manipulated your person's thinking so bad that your person couldn't come out of this negative way because it was all under influence. See, they kept replaying events over their head, outdated thinking, conditioning. 
This spell work was conditioning your person here. This is why they looked up and they were still with this karmic and they should not have been there that long. But this is how bad all of this person had become with this snake, Scorpio. So when I clarify the cassette card, Scorpio, you get the magician card. Like I said, they under heavy spell work, Scorpio. This person's under heavy spell work with this snake because they already knew it was a snake. But see, they were so full of pride and arrogance with the emperor, they just thought it wasn't going to affect them. But Spirit said, uh-uh, no, I had you somebody. I had you, Scorpio. Scorpio wasn't going to do. Now, you not true enough. You may have had to watch out for the stinger, but that's only if you provoked it. But you intentionally went to a snake. They didn't have shit. They sitting just as they are, the snake. All because of the arrogance and pride in your ego because you thought you could run shit. And as a result, now you under heavy black magic and spell work. And you don't know if you what day it is. You don't know what time it is. And But but the sad thing about it is that the only thing that they had... Well, okay, let me finish. When I clarify the magician card, Scorpio, you get the freaking moon card. See? This person was secretly, secretly putting spell work on your person, Scorpio. And they probably don't even realize that their whole mindset was messed up because they was worked on day and night. They was worked on, Scorpio. They was worked on. They worked your person over. And it's all because that's what they sold. That's what they sold, Scorpio. They, they took that snake and they thought what nothing going to happen to them. And then when I clarify the moon card, Scorpio, which is Pisces energy, you get the freaking devil card, Scorpio. That Capricorn energy. See, Spirit was telling this person, all right, you messing with the snake. You're messing with the devil. They joined up with the devil, Scorpio. They joined up with the snake and the snake hit the... Whoever they was with was so deep into this shit. Scorpio. Don't you see it? The snake and the devil. They were so deep in this magic, but they had, they had was tempting your person. You know how sometimes they are. You know how you see those people who are professional snake handlers over there in India and how they blow the horn and they seduce the snake. They were seduced, but the only way they could be seduced was because they had some bullshit already in them. And this is their karma because they overlooked you for this. And that's why their ass is under judgment, Scorpio. That's their karma, Scorpio. That is their karma. Now, Scorpio, your person over here, your new person. You got a new person coming in. You have a new person that's replacing this old person over here, Scorpio. But first here, you got this palm tree. You remember, you're here. You're here. You're here as the single person moving on. You got the Ace of Pentacles, you got the Four of Pentacles, and you got the Seven of Wands. You're standing up. You're fighting for what you deserve as a single independent person because you moved on. You're doing you, and the universe is making ways out of no ways. This is why you have palm tree stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility, Scorpio. So when I clarify that, Scorpio, you get the Page of Pentacles. Now, we know that this is good news of some money. I feel like spirit is constantly going to be dropping nuggets in your lap, just jewels, just, just abundance, just, just new beginnings in your lap because you disconnected from this toxic ass person. See, a lot of times we hook up with somebody, but we, we don't be knowing that, yeah, they may have somebody, but what the hell is the somebody into? The whoever they was into, Scorpio, ooh, Scorpio, they oof. So when I clarify this page of Pentacles, Scorpio, you get... The fool card, Scorpio. They go Aries. You got a lot of Aries in here, Scorpio. It's like you're going to have a brand new beginning in your finances. You're going to be so... It's like you're about to be wealthy and rich. You're not going to have to worry about anything. Because I feel like... Now, I did see the Empress, but I put the Empress card back in there because I didn't think that maybe that was it. But really, probably that's what it was. I feel like th them as the Emperor, they were supposed to do so much more for you because they had it in their power to as the emperor, but they did not want that with you. They mistreated you, they mishandled you, and they went after the snake. So this is why spirit is going to give you a new beginning and spirit is adding abundance and wealth to your energy because of them, it's all under their judgment. Their judgment is for you to prevail while they sink into the, the lower place because they gone. Whoever they was dealing with, now I don't know, I feel like they done walked away from it. But mentally, they're going to always be affected by this. They're going to always, because this person going to always be working some shit on them because she know them. She know all about them now because they done been together. 
She know their weaknesses now. So they, it, like I say, if your person got into an altercation because this malicious, this snake chick was setting them up because they put them in third party situation, it was a set, it was an ambush. They had to look over their shoulder. It was a setup. They never knew it was going to come, but it happened. And so I feel like since you got the ten of swords, they didn't have no choice but to end it. But they ain't worth shit now. They, they whole mind messed up. I'm telling you. They whole mind messed up because they full of illusions here. You got the seven of cups, the high priestess, and the judge. This person's full of illusions because especially they waiting on you to call them. Woo. Because you don't, now they're thinking about all of your love and energy, but it's too late, Scorpio. This, this is just too late. That it is because what they did. Now, when I clarify the full card, Scorpio, you get the seven of pentacles here. I feel like some things you've been investing in, Scorpio, that is about to come. You've been patient. You're waiting on your money to build up. I feel like you're working towards it because after all, we're clearing fine palm trees, stability, security, endurance. So that means it's something you, you're making progress in your money is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. So when I clarify the Seven of Pentacles, you got justice card. Some of y'all have been waiting for some money in the justice system. So Spirit is telling you, you're going to get it. You know you're going to get it because you got this Ace of Pentacles. And the reason why you're going to be vindicated in every area of your life was because you walked away from this person. You moved on and you started self-loving yourself, Scorpio. I'm telling you. who you got abundance coming to you, Scorpio. Now your person here. Now you have kisses. It says unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection, falling in love. You're about to fall in love with someone new now, Scorpio, or someone's about to fall in love with you. And this is a new person, Scorpio. I feel like you left a karmic, you left a karmic a soulmate, and you finna meet a, a, a loving soulmate. Because like I said, I saw the emperor, so I know that this was a divine connection. I feel like this was a divine connection, but Spirit is sending you a soulmate connection. Don't ask me the difference. I just know that they're soul contracts. So you're going to meet someone, Scorpio, and you're about to fall in love. When I, clarify the, when I clarify the kisses, you get the two of cups. See, you got a two of cups coming your way again, see? And this is not someone that you know this was your divine person right here, the emperor, because like I said, I saw the empress. This was a divine connection, but they chose a karmic lifestyle, and that's why they're under judgment now. But spirit, since you decide to move away from it, it's going to give you someone else. So when I clarify the two of cups, Scorpio, you got the knight of cups. See, someone finna come in here and charm you. They finna put their mag down. And that's why you, so you could be hanging out with your friends in this girl talk, because it says, Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So you could very well be out and about here, Scorpio, and meet someone. It says unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection. See, you've got to meet somebody because this night of cups, this night of cups going to roll up on with roll up on you. You're going to be hanging out with your boys or your girls. You're going to be looking good. You're going to be drinking. You're going to be feeling good because a burden has been, a tremendous burden has been released from your energy. Now you got new beginnings. The universe is vindicating you. You're feeling justified. You're feeling, uh, you're feeling amazing now. And, and you're not chasing after nobody, child, Scorpio. Everybody that you chased is now chasing you. I'm telling you. So when I clarify this Knight of Cups, you get this Six of Wands. This is gonna be a successful union. Whoever this new person, which is your new soulmate coming in on the scene, they're gonna charm you. They're going to win you over because they're coming in as the Knight of Cups. Now, they're coming in as the Knight of Cups because you're going to be out. This They're going to come in in a cheerful, playful way. This person going to want to kiss you too, Scorpio. You're going to be like, boy, stop. I just met you. But the energy is going to be, and you're going to feel so safe with this person with this Two of Cups. You're going to feel like you've known this person, Scorpio. And now this last card here, Scorpio, is Hand of Cards here. It says, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand gambling. I feel like this is this new person, Scorpio. And I feel like they're going to take this chance because they're going to see you out for some. They're going to see you out with a group of people and they still going to come towards you and they're going to take this chance, Scorpio. So when I clarify this hand of cards, Scorpio, you get the page of cups, see? They're going to page a cup. That's another mess. And this person going to come in talking to you. They're going to they're gonna come talk. I feel like this person now, this is what it says, take a chance, risk, being strategic. So they're going to peep you out. They're going to scope you out. And they ain't, you, you ain't going to be able to look at them and tell them that they're interested because they're going to keep their game face on, Scorpio. 
But this page of cups could be some stuff like they accidentally bump into you or, 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 you know, it's just something that they're going to do. That's, that's cute. That's, that's kind of, you know, sexy, sweet, but it's going to get your attention. Then they're going to come in and really lay it on think thick with this Knight of Cups energy. And you guys are going to sit there. You're going to have an amazing time together. And you're going to be like, X who? So when I clarify the page of Cups, Scorpio, you get the freaking King of Cups. There go that King of Cups again, Scorpio. And this ain't no matter who you done been with. I'm telling you, the one from your past. Like I say, you got a soulmate and a divine person here, Scorpio. The divine person made their bed. And they got to live in. They got to lay in. Even though they want you and they thinking about you. But you done moved on from there. You done moved on with another connection. So when I clarify the King of Cups, Scorpio, you get this Three of Cups. See, I tell you, you're going to meet this person while you're out. You, it, this is not a renewal. This is a celebration card. Because after all, you're going to be out here hanging with your homegirls. You're single. You're going to have a drink. You're going to put on your come freak, come dress, and you're going to be feeling yourself. And then it's when this person going to roll up on you. And I'm telling you, this is going to be a soulmate. And this is going to be someone who you're going to really have a beautiful, amazing life with, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. This is what I have for you now, Scorpio. If this video resonates, Please like, share, subscribe, Scorpio. Leave me a comment and I'll talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpio.